I was crossing a tributary to the Bear Creek uh, a couple of miles back and it was pretty nasty. The water was above my hip and every time I tried to move one foot in front of the other, uh, the current would just get me and um, one foot placement um, actually caused me to slip in and I, I took a dunk and um, I could regain control pretty quickly, luckily. But uh, I was crossing it alone and it was pretty scary. By the time I got out, uh, my whole body was completely frozen, completely drenched in water. My feet and my hands were so painful because of the cold. And I just uh, kept on hiking because uh, the adrenaline just kept pushing me on. But yeah, that was probably the scariest thing I've done in my life. And that, was, that will probably remain to be the scariest thing that I will have done in my life. The Evolution Creek uh, yesterday, that was supposed to be the worst water crossing on the PCT, was nothing compared to this crossing. My God, I, uh, I was really scared. one just broke and I'm about a mile from Silver Pass and it might be a little difficult to do without crampons so I uh, fun times ahead. I am so lost right now I have no idea where I am. Bones completely dead. I'm about six miles from the turnoff to Mammoth. I know it's like somewhere around that direction but uh, yeah I've been just bushwhacking for the last two hours and I couldn't find any sign of uh, footprint signs or um, any sign of trail. It's pretty scary because I have literally no food left but I guess if worse comes to worse I can just drop down to uh, the river there get some water from it but I know that river leads to um, Yosemite and like 40 miles which is kind of doable I suppose. I found it, three hours being off trail. I found it. Oh my god, such a good feeling. I'm gonna follow it to Mammoth. Me, have two days off. Eat some food. Oh my god. I guess uh, this is why you travel with people in the Sierras. But I was traveling with a group. I thought I could do this six miles by myself, so. Ah, that was scary, man. That was really scary. After making it to Mammoth with my two newest hiking buddies, Chief and Coconut Jam, I discarded all my broken gear I was carrying for the last 100 miles. And after two days of rest, my new trail family formed and we pushed through the next section together. Little did we know what the future will bring.